Are you thinking of moving to Victorville, California? Because if you are in this video, I'm going to be giving you the pros and the cons of living in Victorville, California. I'm going to share with you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if you stick around until the end, I'm going to share a con with you that's not really talked about, but it's a really big need to know if you're thinking about moving to Victorville. So stay tuned because we're going to get after it right now. Victorville, California. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything that there is about living, eating, breathing, playing in Victorville, California, then subscribe below, tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Victorville, California. My name is Jonathan. The team and I, we get calls, emails, texts every single day from people just like you looking to make their move and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, you can always give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email or schedule a Zoom down below. That way we can help you make your smooth move to Victorville, California. Now, a little history about Victorville, California it does have a population of a little over 135,000 people. So it is actually not a small city whatsoever. It is located in the high desert within Southern California. Now, Victorville, what is it really known for? Well, it's really known for its stop along for the famed Route 66, right, within its old town, Victorville uh, Historic District. So that is, you know, what it's really known for is it's its history. It, it does have a rich history. Now, some of the things that you can do if you are living in Victorville or deciding to visit Victorville, you can go to the Scandia uh, Family Fun Center. So if you have those kiddos, you can, you can do that. Also, the Marnac uh, Family Fun Zone, where you can go laser tagging, mini golf, you know, things like that. So that's a really great feature of living in Victorville. Or maybe you wanna check out the Mojave Narrows Regional Park. Hey, that's a great way to get outside, right? Or you can go golfing. Maybe you don't like golfing, skating, bowling, variety of options. You can even go for you shoppers, right? Hey, you can go shopping <laughs> at the Mall of Victor Valley. So that is another option. There's Again, variety of things, whether you're an indoor person or you're an outdoor person, that's one great thing is that it does have that option of indoor and outdoor activities. Or maybe you're just tired of, you know, doing all those fun things in Victorville. Maybe you want to go head on to the desert, Mojave Desert, or go to the mountains. You can always go to Big Bear or you can go to Vegas, right? Las Vegas. It's not that far. So that's another neat feature of living in, living in Victorville, California. Now within the Mojave Desert, you can go camping, you can go mountain bike riding, you can go hit your dirt bikes or your ATVs or whatever it is that you have out there. Again, variety of options. So that is one of many great things of living in Victorville. That's just to show you guys what there really is to do. Now what we're gonna do is we're really gonna deep dive into those pros and cons. That way, hopefully you guys get some clarity and understanding of what Victorville, California has to offer you. So what I always say in all my videos, right, is I like to give you your dessert before I give you your veggie and your desserts are gonna be the pro. So let's go on to pro number one. Pro number one of living in Victorville, California, it is going to be its affordability, right? Now, compared to the rest of Southern California, Victorville has been able to kind of maintain that affordability level where people still can buy, can rent, you know, the everyday cost of living. Now, if you're really comparing it to other cities similar to its size, Victorville actually compares you know, in a better affor affordability rating than other similar cities of its size within Southern California. I mean, really in the nation, for it having 135,000 people, right, the average median home as of December of 2022 was $399,000. So if you go to another city, for example, let's say uh, Marietta or Temecula, California, where its population is 110,000 people, a little bit less, Right, the average house or median house price in that area can range from anywhere from 650 to like 730. 
So you can kind of see the comparison there of you know how much affordable it can really get. Now I don't only just mean homes. This is the everyday you know living expenses. So when I'm talking about your foods and services, transportation, right, et cetera, et cetera. So that is one big major factor of how affordable Victorville can be. Now I'm not saying it's completely free, right? But what I'm trying to say is it is a lot more affordable compared to other similar cities of its size. And that is one major attraction of why people love to move to Victorville, California. So that is why we're choosing affordability as pro number one. Now pro number two of living in Victorville, California, I kind of already somewhat explained it, but it's all the amenities that Victorville has to offer right what do i mean by amenities well all the great incentives that come with living in victorville like i stated you can go golfing skating bowling right or you can go to the desert or a family fun center or you can go shopping at the mall or you can go to the movie theaters right there's so many great things that you can do within victorville california and its surrounding area so that is one big major plus of living in Victorville, California, is that you do get a variety of amenities of living within Victorville. So that's why we're naming amenities as pro number two. So pro number three of living in Victorville, California, and this is its final pro, right? There's a variety of other pros, but this is kind of the top three that we noticed that kind of a lot of people tend to ask for, and that is the diversity of living in Victorville, California. So you have all different types of walks of life within Victorville, right? People moving in from Los Angeles or San Bernardino or even out of state, some people from Arizona or Nevada or Tennessee. We've seen it all, right? The diversity in Victorville is great, different types of cultures, which is awesome because that tends to bring different types of, I guess, small businesses, restaurants, everything. If you guys can think about it, most likely we'll bring it. So with a really great diversity comes a lot of different great benefits, right? Such as, you know, you can have a Chinese restaurant, Vietnamese restaurant, Mexican restaurant, you can have Jamaican food, right? Italian food, that is one of the major pluses, but also additionally to the amazing types of food, you get different types of culture, more revenue for businesses to grow. So diversity is a very important part to a healthy city. And so that is why we're naming diversity as pro number three. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into your veggies, so your cons, right? So you definitely wanna stay tuned because number three is kind of something that people might know, but kind of brush it off like it's not a big thing, but it's a ma major factor if you're deciding to move to Victorville, California. Con number one of living in Victorville, California, that is going to be your public schools. So if education is very important to you because you do have kids, the public schools in Victorville are below average on the national and the state level. So that is one big consideration, whether you're deciding to move to Victorville, California or not, is that the public schools are not the best. However, they are continually trying to work and expand and bring it to a higher level. So yes, you know, currently it is below average in every single aspect, whether it's you know, test score, student to teacher ratio, et cetera, et cetera. They are, the city of Victorville is continually try to work and emphasize public education to bring it to a higher standard. So I know, you know, without a fact that homeschooling has been one of the bigger major factors um, within the past couple of years here in the United States. So if you are looking to move to Victorville, hey, you know you have that option of homeschooling. However, if you do like your kids to go to public school, just know that, hey, the schools are just a bit below average. So that right there is why we're naming public schools as con number one. Con number two of living in Victorville, California is going to be its commuting time. What do I mean, right, Jonathan? What do you mean about commuting time? Well, the average commute, if you're looking to move to Victorville, just know that you're gonna have a little bit longer commute than pretty much the rest of the nation. So the average commute in um, the United States is around 26 minutes now. However, Victorville's average commute time for its residents is about 35 minutes. So yes, you're looking closer to 10 minutes in a longer commute if you're deciding to move to Victorville, California. So that is one major factor you definitely wanna consider is you will be driving a little bit longer. 
Now, what we're gonna do is head on to your final kind of living in Victorville, and this is kind of kind of kind of correlate with its commute time here. So, you know, start putting on your thinking caps and, and you know start guessing what is the con number three of living in Victorville. So let's get into con number three. So here we are. What is con number three? Hmm, right? Well, let me just give it to you. Con number three of living in Victorville is the it has high unemployment. The unemployment rate is almost double the national average in the United States. So yes, if you're looking to move to Victorville, it correlates with con number two because a lot of people, a lot of residents that relocate to Victorville, California tend to work outside of Victorville, California, hence why the commute is longer. So if you're looking to move down, you know, from down the hill, for example, from San Bernardino or Fontana or Riverside, California, for example, right, that is down the hill from Victorville, California or the mountain, I would say, you most likely will probably continue to keep your job down there while commuting to Victorville, California. And I'll give you guys a prime example. I have a great buddy of mine her name is Anna, love her to death. We helped her get into a home in Victorville, California. However, Anna is a nurse within the Riverside District area, I won't name it, right? But however, she continues to work in Riverside commuting up to Victorville, California because she was able to get more bang for her buck in Victorville, California. She absolutely loves it and she doesn't mind the commute because she gets a place that she loves and calls her own. So that is one major consideration of moving to Victorville, California is you got to know the unemployment rate. It is high within Victorville, California. So again, that kind of correlates with con number two. That right there is our final con of the day and that covers all our pros and cons really. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you a little market recap of the current real estate market here in Victorville, California. Market recap time. So here we are now, Victorville, California. Overall, I give Victorville a B plus. No, I'm just kidding. I give Victorville an A plus. Victorville is actually a really great city. I actually do work with a lot of people that tend to move to Victorville, you know, even after they hear the pro and cons. Usually the pros do outweigh the cons, right? Um, majority of the time, a lot of people still work outside of Victorville. Mainly 98% of the people that I help move work outside of Victorville when they decide to move to Victorville. It's really, you get more bang for your buck, and that's the absolute truth. And you also get all the nice cool amenities that come with living in Victorville and the proximity to the major cities such as Las Vegas, right, within a three hour drive or such as Los Angeles, another two hour drive. So we're down the, the, the mountain and you can be in Riverside within the hour, right? Considering traffic, give or take, you always want to add or subtract, of course right, in the diversity. Or maybe you wanna go to the mountains and you know go to Big Bear, enjoy the snow during the winter time, or go enjoy it during the summertime. You can be there within an hour and a half. That is the options that Victorville, California can provide you. And so that is a really neat feature. Now, whether you're not you're looking, you're a beach person, again, you can be in a beach within an hour and a half too. So not a bad gig. There are some places within Southern California that's gonna take you about two and a half hours to three hours just to get to the nearest beach. So again, Victorville, California, it's actually a great place. Victorville does definitely has its pros, definitely has its cons. Now, if you do have any questions regarding this video, you can always comment down below, shoot me a text, give me a call, or schedule a Zoom. That way we can have a nice face-to-face -face so we can help you make your smooth move to Victorville, California. Thank you for watching Living in South California.